Good afternoon, friends. Welcome back to the homestead. So I don't know about you all, but right now the hummingbirds are out and they are going crazy. They come up to this window and they buzz in front of the window if the feeders are empty and the feeders were empty. So I went ahead and whipped up a batch of the hummingbird feed and that is what you saw. That gallon will fill six feeders and that's what I have. I have six feeders. I have three on this side and then three on this side. And by tomorrow, they will all be gone. We get so many hummingbirds, it's crazy. So I definitely enjoy having those hummingbirds around so I make sure they have plenty of feed. And it's a lot cheaper when you make it yourself. I don't know about y'all, but I don't wanna pay $8 for a gallon when I can make it for like a couple bucks. So much more worth it. So we are down at our small barn and I have something that I wanna show you. I picked up yesterday some new babies. So let's head inside here and let me show you what we got. So yeah, go ahead and call me the crazy chicken lady now because I picked up 50 hens. These are all females, they're all pullets. I've got a combination of wine dots and coco marrons. I think I'm saying that right. Those are new to me. I've never had any of those. And they lay these dark chocolate brown eggs. So I'm really excited for these ones. And also a few Americanas. And y'all know I love my Americanas. They're just the most beautiful chicken, I, I think. And the wine dots, those are Miss Lady. Since our one egg that she produced and we hatched out ended up being a rooster. I was hoping, hoping, hoping that we would get a female out of her but it's a rooster. We're gonna keep him. All the other roosters are gonna have to go. So that's why we got 50 more laying hens because right now we have at least 15, if not 20 roosters. All of the chickens that we've hatched out have been 90% roosters. So let's take a walk over there. Let me show you all these roosters that we got and I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do with them. I'm telling you guys, these Americanas are my favorite. They're so stinking cute. I love their little cheeks. I gotta have a whole bunch of these and be happy. This one is like a white color, which I have a couple of these already and I really, really love them. They're just the most like personality filled chickens, I think. I'm excited for these ones. All right, and as soon as we walk out this door, you can see that's a rooster. Over there is, right over there is the lady. Miss Lady's rooster, Miss Lady's son, I should say. We hoped that that would be a female, but it's looking more and more like a rooster. And the whole batch of chickens that were hatched out with that one ended up all being roosters. Every single one of them. Rooster, rooster. The two little bannies that we hatched out, both are roosters. Here are the other bannies. And I'm thinking actually that those are not gonna be bannies. Those are golden phoenix roosters because they were hatched from our golden phoenix females. And of course that's, that's the dad because that's the only one that goes on top of our phoenixes. So it's a combination of a phoenix and banning, but it favored more the phoenix. We might keep one of those. I mean, they're good to, with each other, so we might keep those two just to see what they look like. If they become a problem, I can sell them with no problem. They're really pretty roosters and I don't think I'll have a problem selling them. So that's more roosters there. So that's what, seven so far? Seven roosters, not to mention the two that we already have that are right there, so that's nine. And we're gonna head on down to the big barn and see how many roosters we can count over there. It is later in the evening, it's about six o'clock and they're all starting to go to bed. Not sure what these ones are. These are our second to last batch of chickens that this little banny hatched out and she has three. They're all barred rocks. Not sure if those are roosters or females yet. Got another little banny rooster over here. Got Mr. Tut, Old Faithful right there. He is our rooster from California, so he is not going anywhere. All right, we are here inside the barn. Females, females, and then down there at the end, three more roosters.
We've got two roosters in here that are already caged up. Those are actually going to um, some neighbors. So that's why they're caged up right now. We're just waiting for them to come pick them up. I've lost count. <laughs> but see, I'm telling you, I've got too many roosters here. Needed more females. And here we have, this is our golden phoenix mama. And she hatched out three babies. And they're all looking like barred rocks. We've got a lot of barred rock roosters, so it doesn't surprise me. And here we have two more roosters. These are actually very, very beautiful roosters, but they are little buttheads. So we're getting rid of them too. All right, so what am I doing with all these roosters? In town, the farmer's market is actually gonna be at our local tractor supply. They're gonna have a farmer's market there. So I am going to take all of my roosters and take them down to the farmer's market at tractor supply and hopefully sell them all because Ladies Farm does not need that many roosters. I only need a few. And I have Mr. Tut, and I wanna keep the main barred rock that we have. I think those two should be plenty, and then we have the two little bannies that hang out with the other females on the other side of the property. So, I think that would be plenty. Two roosters, plus our 50 hens that we're, had, that we're gonna be raising up. And I wanna say we've got at least 30 females that are in there. So a total of 80 laying hens and two roosters. Let me know in the comments if you think that's too little for 80 hens and only two roosters, or should I get, maybe keep a couple more. Oh, and I am keeping Mr. Mister Lady, so that will be three roosters that we'll be keeping for sure, but I'm excited. I have to say chickens are by far my absolute favorite animal to have on the homestead. They're the easiest, they give you eggs, they give you meat if you need them, and they're so fun to watch. Their personalities are the best. All right, friends, thanks for stopping by the homestead with me while I showed you my new addition. I hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time, friends, don't forget to like, subscribe, share with your friends and family. As always, I hope all is well, and have a blessed day.